Hello YouTube, it's Coffee Owns You here, bringing you the fourth episode of Coffee Owns You's Cup of MOABs. This time I'm bringing you a gameplay of Domination on Bakara, standard Domination, so 6v6. I'm using an FAD Red Dot Suppressed. My perk setup is Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, Steady Aim. My kill streak setup is Specialist with Scavenger, Hardline, and assassin I think that is um, as you see in this gameplay I'll pick up an RSASS in a minute there we go just picked up and I do get quite a few kills with this weapon so it's not just purely an FAD Moab right one of the first things I was going to talk to you about in this commentary is about the new five prestiges that were added not too long ago for Modern Warfare 3 uh, my personal opinion on them is that they should have been added when the game was brought out. Like, you know, as Black Ops was, it was 15 prestiges from the beginning. So you don't have to wait around from 10th to get to 11th like they had to had to on this game. Because that, pretty, that annoyed me pretty much. Because I stayed at 10th prestige for a long time trying to get all the titles and emblems. Then they bring out new prestiges and our prestige without getting my titles and emblems so close to some of them I just wasted a lot of playing time on them I could have been 15 prestige already but that's just the way Infinity will want to play it and it's fair enough to them like whatever they do they do I can't really do anything about it it's their choice at the end of the day right the second thing I was going to uh, move on to was about the DLC so that includes Piazza, Piazza, whatever you want to call it, Liberation, Black Box, and Overwatch. Um, I really detest um, Liberation because it's mainly due to the spawn system on it. If you're playing Domination or pretty much any game mode, I think, <coughs> pardon me, uh, you'll literally spawn in one area and the enemy team can just see you straight away you don't really have a chance to move out your spawn if you do you're very lucky but I just think it's a terrible map not just because of the spawns but the way it's laid out it's all long distance there's no use for every type of weapon it's mainly a sniper map or an assault rifle map so you can't use SMG, shotguns, the riot shield can't really really use LMGs either even though they're a medium to long range weapon I just find it's difficult to use them on it um, Piazza I don't like it but I like it more than I like Liberation because it's just got a better layout to it it feels like well, the spawn system is a lot better on it as well but one thing I don't like is vantage point that if you have A then you have vantage point on every other point so it's just as soon as you try pushing up to A if you only got C or only got B they can just pick you off as you're coming up and it just gets really tedious keep going the same keep going the same route but and they keep killing you exactly the same way even if you go a different route they'll kill you exactly the same way it just gets a bit annoying after a while um, Overwatch I like that map pretty much actually because of the layout and the engagement the spawns aren't too bad on it um, the reason I like the layout and the engagement is because it's pretty symmetrical on domination because you'll spawn on A side or B side you're on the same level of the map and whatever side you choose to go left right or center you'll pretty much have the same route as the opposite team will so it's pretty fair engagement so it's same sort of obstacles in the way so I just find it's a fair fight um, Black Box is my favourite out of the DLC at the moment purely because it just has I don't know it's just got some nice feel to it like the building set out in certain ways and the spawns uh, seem to be corrected the most it just seems to be a pretty good map for me anyway but um, leave a comment in the section below just let me know what your favorite 
DLC map is and why. Um, another thing I was going to move on to was about the what what I want to see in a DLC, like the map. What I'd like to see is pretty much what I talked about on Overwatch, which would be like similar engagements for both teams and no real vantage point because it does get annoying. No one locked down, you spawn on seaside domination and you'll see most people head up into the building straight in front of you. It just gets tedious. Everybody going to the same spot over and over again is just they have a vantage point of B you can't really do anything when you're on that flag because literally they'll just rain hell on you with RPGs, sniper fire, whatever they've got and it's just like why can't you just move out of one building like try and actually play the game instead of camping domination is about objective I'm not just sitting there going oh look I'll sit in a building being a dickhead but that's how people play it isn't it don't play the objective and that's what frustrates me the most about domination but yeah I'd like to see like similar engagements no real vantage points and a fixed spawn system like if you have A you'll spawn literally near A but if the enemy's taking A you'll spawn a little bit further away but not too far away so like the spawn system on hard hat I think is pretty good for an example for it like if you're taking B the enemy will spawn um, not like next to it or on the flag but they'll spawn a little bit farther away they could defend it if they have enough skill or know the right tactics to defend it but it doesn't give them like an advantage to like on dome for instance you spawn on B they can literally just run in from multiple directions and you can't do anything about it so uh, that's what I'd like to see in the DLC. Also leave a comment about that for what you like to see in the DLC. As you can see I'm now on a 23 point streak. Need one more kill or one or two more assists. Can't remember how many assists I've had at the moment. But um, hopefully this kill comes very soon is what I was thinking at this point in the game. Because it's getting close to the end and I'm like panicking that they're gonna suddenly all charge into this building or throw nades in that's the thing I'm really surprised they didn't throw a nade in during this whole game oh, you'd have thought they actually had some smarts and throwing a grenade and just go oh look we can kill him by throwing X amount of grenades in but no that's really weird but yeah I hear a guy I'm like oh where is he I see one. I just heard a knife from my mate downstairs, and as per usual, as soon as I call it in, I get killed. Why? I don't understand that. You get quite annoyed, call it in. You know what? Go around the next corner. Oh, I'm dead. At least I got it though. Oh well. Right. I've just got one shout out to make for this. As you know make that too I've always promised my mate um, Scott or Smudger to shout him out in all my videos because he's the one that's been recording these videos with his HD PBR so I'll put a link in, it in the description to his channel but just thank him and also I'll put a link in the description to my mate Wackadoo's channel because he'll have some commentaries and gameplays that you might like right this is final kill cam and then you can see the scoreboard right thank you for watching peace